Time is directly and exclusively tied to consciousness. No consciousness, no time. There must be an observer. So an awakening or enlightenment can only occur amongst those who have the authentic ability to observe, which means we are actively operating, not walking around in a zombie state, kind of like an NPC or background person in a video game. You are an eternal being having a physical experience within multiple possibilities. It is not necessary to die to shift awareness to a different timeline. So basically, we're like in those movies which have several different endings, meaning you can shift to different timelines, but ultimately, each of those timelines are leading to old age. In my view of life, there is no such thing as death. There is no escaping your problems. You either learn your lesson in this 3D reality or the fourth or fifth dimensional reality when you exit your avatar. Yes, you are in an avatar. When you're done with it, your family will probably bury you six feet under a tombstone while you are being reborn again because you didn't learn your lesson on stubbornness and the universe is looking for balance. Some of us must shift between timelines and we are the ones who Notice the changes while those who are locked into a consistent timeline have no ability to experience the changes. Those of us who shift from a different history may have died in another timeline, which takes us into the discussion of quantum immortality. To complicate the matter further, all this only seems possible if our consciousness exists above a base reality in a simulation. If we die and move to other timelines but don't remember dying at all, then maybe we don't die but just jump into the timeline where we are still alive. I have worked my way through part of the concept, but it does not explain how we continue getting older. Maybe in the end we become energy. We may be jumping into different beings of different genders and ages, and we don't remember, but we have similar energy frequencies, which makes it possible to shift to this body. It will kind of explain how some people remember past lives of all different genders and ages. Is that why we have birthmarks? Is that the scar how we died in the previous life? In my eyes, yes, birthmarks are scars from previous deaths. Let's get into timeline shifts, worlds crossing over, and the existence of multiple realities. Who remembers Jif? Or is this spelled like the one circle below? Or like Jiffy? Or is this spelled Skippy? In your reality, how is Chick-fil-A spelled? Like this? Or like this, here's your reality and here are multiple possible realities. You want a gourmet T-bone at brunch? You'll make the steps correctly to obtain that possible reality. Remember, this is just one of my theories of life living in a holographic universe. Quantum immortality just seems to make perfect sense to me.